Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to give you my 12 month postpartum update. Hi. Uh, Ethan will be one year um, in a couple of days. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and some pointers. I had my third C-section and let me tell you, it was so different. And I, but I finally feel like I am back to myself fully. Um, first, I'll tell you about Ethan. He hasn't had his checkup yet, but um, he's about 28 pounds. No, he's about 22 pounds. He's 29 inches long. He's wearing size 18 months. He's not walking, which he is my latest walker. My other kids were walking at like nine months. So he is the latest walker. He gets around, but he just refuses to do it on his own. He wears size five Pampers. I use Pampers um, cruisers. Before cruisers, I was using, you know, Pampers swaddlers. And as you can see, he is busy. He is the first child I ever gave a pacifier and we use these gummy gumdrop pacifiers. And I'm a little on the fence. Um, you know, they work as a baby mute button. You wanna get down? Stop it. I'm still a little on the fence about it. Um, the doctor says I should start weaning him off of it. You little silly boy. He's got six teeth. You little silly boy, show your teeth. Four up top, two on the bottom. And he is also the child who has no interest in real food. He only eats baby food. And like, sometimes he'll have like a cracker or a piece of fruit that someone else is eating. He'll take a bite out of it. But he just has no interest in table food at all, which is very shocking to me. Um, they, uh, Ethan has been on Strictly Formula since he was like four months. I stopped breastfeeding and he's been fine. I'm looking forward to not having to buy formula anymore and make that transition to regular milk. Now I've never given my children cow milk so I don't know that he'll be any different. So he'll just probably get the soy milk with the DHA in it for brain health. So that's a purple bottle, if you don't, silk purple bottle of soy milk. And he'll start drinking that. Yay, no more formula. And hopefully he'll start developing a taste for real food. And when I say real food, I mean unmashed, like in a jar baby food. That's what he likes to eat. He's closing the shutters right now. <laughs> um, some things that I would definitely suggest to buy. The number one thing is glass bottles. This is the Dr. Brown's, the glass bottles. I love the glass bottles. They're easier to clean. I feel like they last longer. They, they're just better. And I know they're more expensive, but they are a must, a must, a must. Some more of my, um, Baby survival must-haves in the first year are on my Pinterest page, which is linked below, but they include your boppy, um, a cradle, a side-by-side -side cradle. I would definitely suggest getting some sort of sound machine or like yeah. crib mobile or something for the baby to sleep in. A video monitor. I. Definitely, definitely. And I personally didn't spend a lot on our infant carrier because I knew that he wouldn't be in it long. He was probably in the infant carrier about six months and he was heavy enough to go into the bigger carrier. Of course, still rear facing though. So those are some items I would definitely say invest in in your high chair. Invest, invest, invest because nonstop use to this day. So I'm so... I'm glad. I'm glad that, you know, we're transitioning into a new stage of development for him. And I'm excited and a little sad because he is our last child. And I guess I'll get into that now. So like I said, I had my third C-section. So I'm done having kids. I actually 
did get sterilized, which is what they call it. They don't call it a getting your tubes tied anymore. They call it sterilization and you have to sign a form that says, I am getting sterilized. And what they do is put clamps on your fallopian tubes. So that's how they do it now. And I did it at the same time of having the C-section. So I feel like that might have contributed to having a very difficult recovery. But a year later, I'm fine and I don't regret my decision at all, at all, at all. Because I know that having children takes a lot out of your body. And I'll give you a belly shot soon. Yeah. I have lost all the baby weight, but it's weird. I'm not necessarily framed the way I was. Pounds wise, it's gone. Sculpture wise, not so much. And I talk about that on my fitness channel, Fit with the Misses. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. But all in all, that is my postpartum update. Oh, the sleeping thing. He's getting a lot better sleeping through the night. Again, every child is different. And he has just been the most non-traditional of my children. He didn't sleep through the night, has a hard time sleeping by himself. Like he is a true baby baby. Like he wants to be with you and he wants you to rock him. My other kids, I just said good night and put him in the crib and they went to bed. But Ethan's a little different and his need for food is much different. So, you know, stay encouraged. Every child is different. Don't get in the business of comparing your baby to another baby. I wanted to do this video just to show you a different side because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, my child is perfect. It's the best thing. You know what? Could be, but someone else might not be experiencing it. And as a mother of three, this was the most different. And you know what? It's still great and I'm, I praise God, but it, it was very difficult. And I'm glad that this first year of crying and formula and all of that is behind us and we're just moving on to the next stage so i wish you all the luck oh let me give you a belly shot belly shot belly shot okay see my stretch marks roadmap of having three children. And I have a feeling that the only thing that will make that go away is a tummy tuck. So hopefully I'll be able to get one. But anyway, um, hope that helped. Thank you guys so much for watching my postpartum update. Here are some videos just because I know a lot of you are new to my life. You'll catch a lot of these on Instagram of when I was pregnant with Ethan, my last baby. But I was huge, gaining 81 pounds. My sister was pregnant with me. I, would, I just look at these pictures and say, I can't believe the whale I was. That's actually the morning we're having surgery, plan C-section. I was so huge. I was in active labor. This is what the men wear. <laughs> during surgery and you just kind of wait in this little room, you know, till it's time to start. And I wanted all the gore. He was a big hunker, 10 pounds, eight ounces. His head was so big, he didn't even fit a hat. But it was awesome. Of course, during the C-section, you're awake the entire time. And it, it's a great moment. And it's interesting to, you know, see how, oh, oh my gosh, that's the, that's the first time putting on a bathing suit. I was pissed. But it's great to see your child develop. And I hope you're capturing the moments that your baby is growing because they go by so fast. Hope you enjoyed this. Catch you the next time. Bye.